Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use QuickBase. QuickBase is a good platform that you can use uh, for delivering workflows and also seeing all of your operations. So the first thing that you want to do is just click here start a free trial. You will have link also down below in the description. Now when you're gonna click on a like 30 day trial, add an email address and then password. Click next, then we are going to continue and then you're one step away from better business. Marcus Stonelius, I'm CEO, then I'm going to add a phone number, company name and company size, um, zero to 99 people. And then what you want to do is just simply click start my free trial. Let's just wait until it loads and then your trial is ready. Let's get started on your first app. You can also, the fastest way to your app is working with your team. And you just add here, I'm looking for managing budget, content, contract, CRM, you choose it. The tools I'm currently using are paper, other, or spreadsheet, whatever. And then you add a question comments for um, the employees of QuickBase. So I'm going to click here, skip direct to trial, but if you want to, you can click here, get started together. So someone will help you. That's what you can do. Now, voila, here we are. So what we can actually find when we're going to enter QuickBase. When you're going to enter QuickBase, you can have multiple applications that you can create. And what you can do is also watch these tutorials here. And then you can see also the pipelines. Oh, it's like setting up right now. So we'll wait. So let's click here, create a new app. And now you have option to choose and create a new app from the template. You can import it from a spreadsheet or start from scratch. I'm going to click here, build for template. And now what is our goal here? So you have multiple options here. Tell us about your project process or information. And we have option to manage customer relationships market our organization, service, our facilities, tracking customer requests, managing projects. So if multiple options, what you can actually do, and I'm going to click here, let's say we want to market our organization. I will click on it and I'll press continue. And voila, introducing Visual Builder. Visual Builder provides an easy way to diagram and plan your app. You can create tables, add fields, and connect relationships all by dragging and dropping items onto the canvas. You can take a tour also here or maybe later. Now how it actually works and what you can do. So in the moment when we have the template, you see um, that we have multiple options here. You can always show fields in a table, activities, cultural programs, and what I can do is to simply on the left, you have always all the options that you can add. So let's say I can, I can add a table, table, and I can add a field here. So on all, so on every single thing that you're going to drop, you can edit it. So I can go like show fields in the table. And as we see in the programs that I can open it, and this is same text, multi-line date and date cost. So let's say that I would want to have a task here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to like leave it like it is. Or you can edit it. Let's say I can add a text here or you can add even a rich text. See? So directly you can edit here so I can grab something, multi-select text, and I can edit straight away here. And the type is automatically changed, right? And you have option always to change between numeric, rating, date, URL, people, address, phone number, email. It really depends what you want to actually achieve with a quick base, report link, formulas, text, numeric date. So as you can see, you can do a lot. So even let's say that 
I would want to have a table here. And I want to add a field. What I can do is to scroll down below. And then I can simply click formula. Numeric. Or what I can do is to create calendar or even duration time of the day. So you always choose it what you want to achieve. Now when you're going to scroll down below, you see also the predecessor here. And that's pretty much it. So it really depends guys, what do you want to actually create? If you can have any questions about this, let me down below in the comments. I'll really happy to help you and provide you some guidance, etc. You know how it goes, you know how it is. We can always click on this, change on the right side how the icon. So we can always add a table, change the icon right here. We can click here, edit relationship. So create a table to table relationship. Programs connect to collateral contacts. This is a table. And we can have it like this. And look at this. So this is how we can connect the line. So I could click on it. I can click on the line or on this line and I can add the relationship. Programs connects to and you choose to whatever it connects. So this is pretty much it how you do it. It's nothing like difficult, but let's say that you want to see how it actually looks like if you're going to create whatever app. So I would go to the right, create app. And look at this, how it looks like. So uh, we're going to see the marketing plan right here. And these are all the things, all the tables that we added. So program had these things, activities. You can add a new activity. All these things are connected directly to programs. And contacts, we saw that we had a first name, last name, title, street, street two, city, state region, but you can always edit everything, right? Or even on this table, there are things like that I added just for the sake of the tutorial. If I would add a, a name and everything, I would find it right here. Pipelines, I think are just still like waiting, but this is pretty much it how we can do it. So let's say I can add a new table. I can add from scratch. Table name, let's say would be CRM. Customer. An icon would be like, like this, create. And you can see, you can edit the label right here. So we don't have to go for the planning etc. So let's say it will be first thing first will be added text name type would be again, let's say date when acquired. Then we have text multiple choice here. And then we can add it. Um, single choice it's an email address email address and phone this is what we can do and add and voila so here we have it this would be our fields you can of course look on a table structure here Table table relationship. You can always like look on every single settings here and edit it, exit settings. And look at this, we would have it right here and I can click on a top right new customer. And look at this, these are the options that we have. So name would be Marcus client when acquired would be today email address gmail.com. And then I can click 
save and close. Look at this, customer saved. And we have the CRM right here. So this is pretty much it, how we can do it. It's nothing really like difficult. And I can do this all the time. So I can simply click new table, create a table, and then simply add everything what I need there. Or this would be my marketing plans. But what I can do is to simply click new app here, build from template, or start from scratch. And let's say I want to track customer requests. Or no, let's say cancel. Let's say I want to managing projects. This is going to be fun. So as you can see, so we get the projects, which is the name, the first one, create. Then we have connected to tasks and expenses and tasks are also connected to documents at the projects and tasks. So when I would click on expense, these are my important expenses here. Then we have the documents and this is what you can do. You can always create it by yourself. So let's say that I'm going to create app here and let me show you how it looks like. I always recommend using the template that's really effective. And as you can see, you're always going to have all the apps right here. So tasks and look at this status. We can click edit and we have status canceled, completed, in progress, on hold, open, priority, low, high, medium, start date, end date. And this is pretty much it how we can do it, right? Nothing's too difficult. And then we can change right things here for the task description. And then what I can do is to simply delete it. And you can always edit the task. So what I can do even is when I'm going to click on my tasks, I can customize the page here on the right side. And we are in a task settings. You can always click here on a structure, how it looks like. And you see text, multiple choice here. And when you choose like multiple choice on the right side, you are always going to choose the choices here. So input type from list display choice in alphabetical order and all the multiple choices you would find on the right side. So this is pretty much it how we can do it. And this is pretty much it how we can use quick base. This was a quick walkthrough what you can achieve with it. You always when you're going to edit on a field, you would see it on the right side how we can work with a field. And that's pretty much it. So Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you are going to have a great day. This was a quick base tutorial, how to use quick base, quick base beginners guide, quick base for the beginners and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.